and welcome to another sort of planty video. Um, today is the 24th of March. I feel like it's important to put the date on these now just because life is weird. And also I'd had a couple of videos already lined up to post on YouTube. So everything's out of order now, but I'm just sort of slotting stuff in, you know, for quarantine basically in between all the already scheduled videos. Um, so this is being filmed on the 24th of March. It should be up in a few days, I think. Um, but anyway, so uh, if you are in South Africa, you know we are going into lockdown on Thursday, full lockdown. Um, I see the UK is also following suit. US are lagging behind. Guys, you need to pull your socks up a little bit. If South Africa is quarantining the whole country, you know you need to do it too. Come on. I like. I couldn't be more proud of how we're handling this. Like a lot of horrible things are said about this country and a lot of it is rightfully so, but we're handling this like absolute champs and I think it's incredible. So that's my two cents on this. Um, so I actually filmed this already, but I filmed it yesterday before the lockdown was announced. Um, so this has now got a different angle <laughs> to it. Yesterday I filmed this as a, these are places where you can online shop for plants while being quarantined. But now that everything's completely shut down and nothing can be couriered, um, you can't shop. But I thought we could have a browse. Um, and also I do still want to share local businesses. So these are all South African businesses. Um, so if you're watching from overseas, you obviously can't shop from these, but they're still really cool. So I would suggest you maybe stick around and see what we have that you don't have. I'd really like to see if some of the things that we have you can't find or you know, just to see comparison wise, because it's interesting to see what's available here versus overseas. Um, anyway, basically, I just I'm, I want to show you local businesses that I feel like um, deserve your support uh, in the future, obviously, when we can shop again. Um, who I've used personally or I've heard of people using personally and just kind of, I, I feel like we all kind of need to band together. I mean, I'm a freelancer and I am freaking out. So um, I just kind of want to show you places that you could potentially buy plants from in the future online. So that's, that's where we're at now. So the plan is I have, I think I'm recording my screen on my computer. So we're going to cut from big to small and uh, we're just going to, have a bit of a browse really I'm just window shopping the plan is to window shop so you get to window shop with me because we can't go to nurseries and we can't well maybe we can buy things but they'll be held so maybe message them and see if you see something you like but yeah let's have browse so this is plant a plant a orchids um if you've watched any of my unboxings you know I buy a lot of stuff for them I love 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 them love their products um let's see what they've got oh He's Ashnathus. Again, I know I say names wrong, guys. I'm sorry, but I just, I don't really care. <laughs> well, I do. That's not true, but also, sorry, I literally went to the shop this morning to buy paint and cat food. Um, we'll just move that out of shot. <laughs> so that's the Ashnathus Thai pink that I, I ended up splitting with somebody uh, end of last year. 320 bucks for a huge plant is great value. So we split ours in half. And my one, you saw the size of it, was huge. That was half of this. That was 160 bucks for that plant. Um, this Ashnathus Rasta, I really want to get one of these as well. 350 rounds, good price. Lovely black begonia. Um, I've worked out if I open the them bigger on here, it doesn't do anything. The images stay the same size. So we're just going to browse small on here. These begonias are really cool. I'm actually quite kind of into that. It looks a bit like a homolamina. Uh, look at these calathea. It's a really good price for an old folio. And these rosier pictures. That pink is delicious, but I'm staying away from calathea because that's really pretty. And that one. Oh, my mouse is having trouble registering. I might have to go back to <laughs> the little keypad-y thing. Um, variegated string of hearts. I know lots of people have been looking for those recently. And the Sister Salmon's on a Corolla for 350 bucks. That's a very good price. Their plants are always huge from here. Always so, so surprised. Let's see, Denanthes. James really likes these different back ears. So I might have to put that on the list or something to get because Ahmed Nella, it went downhill so quickly and that, I don't know what happened. It was fine and then it wasn't fine in the space of like three days. And I checked the roots for rot and they were fine and there were no pests. It just went from being fine to just 
dying. Um, so if I can find a relatively decently priced vanilla replacement, I might get that. But he also likes these stiff and back here, so I might get him one for his office. Uh, let's see, that's called King Euphorbia. You're basically going to get me see, get me see, get me see, watch me see what I would kind of look at. Um, so there's not going to be any Hoya speciality people on this because most of the growers don't seem to have websites. I know the SA Hoya Growers Facebook page, um, but it's not particularly user friendly for showing you on here. But if you're into Hoyas, check out the SA Facebook say Hoya Facebook page. I'll put all the links in the description as well so you can have a look. Um, I'm gonna write that down quickly because I'll forget. Essay Hoya. Because I have a brain like a sieve. Um, yeah. I should have put all of these on one page instead of having to click through. Like a fool. It's a real mix of Hoya here now. They never used to stock lots of Hoya. It's nice to see they're getting more in. I would definitely buy Hoya from them just because their plants are always huge. Uh, that now many eyes cool. Oh, this mouse is struggling. It's interesting pricing that the Publa Calyx is more expensive than what I would say is a less commercially available Hoya, but interesting. I got my Publa Calyx for like a hundred bucks up the road at Superplants, who is here. Ta -da. They don't have a website you can't buy online, but I wanted to just plug them anyway. As with Ferndale Nurseries. Yes, I did mean Ferndale Nurseries. There we go. They're also a great local Cape Town um, nursery, but again, I don't think they sell online. Let's see. Yummy little Retusa. Mm. Oh, they don't have any Medanillas. They had Medanillas last week, and I should have ordered one. They were like 200 bucks each. shouldn't have hesitated. I really like these pepperomias. Actually, I should have hesitated. I don't have any spare money at the moment because freelancer life and basically a month of being locked in the house do not work well together. I'm not panicking. It's fine. Mm. This is where I got my philodendron, uh, tomatophyllum sprucianum from, the giant one. Um, 450 bucks, such a good price. And with careering it was still cheaper than most places you can other places you can buy it um i don't really understand how place pla places how places price stuff but for that i would say that was the best value i found these mycans as well they're the only place at the moment that has mycans um i know a lot of people bought them so if you're watching this you might already have one i'm holding out for a carson that's my plan i'm putting it into the universe if i put it into the universe enough it will happen. Um, lovely carnivorous plants. If you are wanting carnivorous plants, I would say go to Pants Carnivores. Here we go. I won't go through the whole website for you, but just to show you, Pan is based literally two roads up from me here in Cape Town, and he is a speciality carnivorous plant grower. Incredible quality plants. He makes his own hybrids. Yeah, so there you go. So if you're looking for carnivorous plants in South Africa, Back to Plante. Um, I think this end section is just lots of air plants. I'm sorry, I'm just going to go through them quickly. Air plants are cool, but they're not really, they don't really light my fire as it were. And also I don't want to make this the world's longest video. These xerographias are nice though. I'll give them that. Mm, okay, that's pretty much it. Okay, then let us go on to... No, I don't want to be notified. Thank you. Um, so Plantify, I feel like lots of people know about. I thought it would be quite cool to just show you what they have there. Commercial space is beautiful um, in Cape Town City Centre, but they always have a really good, consistent stock of, I would say, um, uh, reliable plants. Does that make sense? No, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I really like these bags. Ooh, I'm throwing kind of very, um, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, the YTA they have, I've seen them in store, they're so pretty, but 550 rand. For me, that's a bit out of my budget. For any plant, to be honest, I can't really justify spending more than like 300 bucks on a plant, and that's on a good day with a following wind, if you know what I mean. 
I'd love to have a big budget to buy super fancy plants, but alas, one day we'll get there. What else have we got? Let's see. Yeah, they've just got like a consistently good supply of relatively low care plants. So if you're looking for stuff that's not like really fancy, really super expensive, I would definitely look at Plantify. I've sent to a couple of people and they're always really good quality. They ship really nicely. It's a nice, I do like ZZs at the moment. I'm going through a ZZ phase. I just want a Raven ZZ. Oh, that would make me so happy. What else are we working with here? Mm. See, there we go. There's a Goldie Eye as well, but it's a very different price. Fascinating. Um, yeah. I know they have slightly, I won't say rarer, but like less commercially available stuff as well in store that isn't on their website. So I think you kind of have to like go in and see. Um, that fan aloe is really pretty. Hmm, more of the failure as well. I'm sure these have dropped in price a lot. Hey, when they first came on the market last year, well, not last year, but you know what I mean? When they first became like popular last year, I had to sell a kidney to get one. <laughs> Good old dragon scale after the great Woolies rush of whenever it was November last year, December, January. I don't know where we are now in life. Um, now everywhere, <laughs> so it's quite funny. They are great plants, though. Okay, so that's Plantify. Let's see what Atrium. Here we go. See, this is good. Due to the COVID 19 lockdown, we're not taking orders until further clarification. Awesome. I really like that places are being responsible. It's, it's really cool. I had to put on a thing today, basically being like, you can still buy stuff, but I can't get it to you until we're out of lockdown. So it's scary. It's a scary time for small businesses. So if you run your own business, I see you and I feel your panic. I'm genuinely trying to work out what to do. I'm trying to work out like things that I can stream or teach or do stuff online. Just like do stuff on Twitch to try and get, you can tip people on Twitch, like put, give like PayPal donations and stuff. Just anything to get by at the moment. Yeah. It's a struggle. And I mean, we're relatively well off in comparison to most people in this country to start off with. So, yeah. Um, okay, here's Atrium. Atrium's the first place I ever bought an online plant from. So I will always have a soft spot for them. Um, ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I do like these. James doesn't like them very much. But I think they're quite pretty. It's interesting to see they're all much for much as price-wise. This is sometimes a huge discrepancy. I really do want to get one of these big palms, but Misty would just eat it. She'd spend the whole day just sitting there chewing it. And nobody wants that. The thing I like about this um, website, Atrium, is that they give all the plants names. <laughs> so like, this is a Pavati, and that's a Carly, and that's an Axel. Just, it pleases my little soul. Um, what else we got? Those are lovely Symbidium orchids. Really pretty. Um, have a quick fly through. Let's see what else we're working with. Yeah, see, these are the that same Demcane, different back here. It's not a dwarf monstera, it's a Rapidophora tetrasperma. That's a big fiddle leaf. Um, yeah, so it's, I would say they've got like comparable stock, give or take, to plantify love these long leaf um, figs, the ficus longiforia. Mm. Mm. If we had the space, I would love one of those. Oh, look, a Mednilla. That is a lot more expensive than uh, Plante had them out. Oh, Plante was selling for 200 rand. I'm such a fool. I should have just gone in and got one. They're so beautiful, though. I might end up just buying one from Atrium in the end, because I'm very disappointed. Look at that orchid. That's incredible. I'm also getting into orchids, which could be problematic. <laughs> oh dear. And I want to blast my succulent collection as well. I really want to get a little greenhouse for outside and then start like making my own pots of succulents and stuff. I've just sown a whole bunch of seeds. I love these scummy ferns. They're really cool. It's interesting to see they're not so much using the actual name to the plants, but I guess this is not really catering to people who are like, avid plant collectors as it were it's more kind of like commercial spaces but the styling of this website is beautiful it's really nicely put together and i think that the way that they've styled and shot the plants is really really nice it's they've done a really good job 
And it's really pretty and it's a nice nice interface. Yeah. Okay, so that's um, atrium plants. Then, um, so this is Rooting For You. Rooting For You I found on Instagram and they are incredible. Um, so I think you can get them to find plants for you if you are looking for something in particular. I, I believe they're based in Durban. Um, and yeah, so this is their website. I think it's just recently been set up. Ooh, look at that pink dragon. Look at that stem. That's cool. And the Friedrich. 150 bucks for Friedrich. 200 bucks for a pink dragon. That's really pretty. If I knew I wasn't going to kill it probably immediately, I would get that. Because that's pretty. What? 100 rand for a Ray EI. <laughs> uh, 400 rand for a Plum NEI. Oh well, the pre order of these is already sold out. That's nuts. I. I, just, I like their stock. Variegated delicious monster in the market. Then there's a little tiny one here. 800 bucks. I'm saying nothing. Uh, beautiful Florida Beauty. That allocator is cool. 250 bucks, sure. 300 bucks for an Orbifolia. I mean, I think considering what they have on the whole, that is very well priced. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what they get in in the future, to be honest, because I've got some specific things that I'm looking for and I'm hoping that they will be the people who can find them for me. Actually, probably any of the next ones might be the next four. Um, so who have we got now? Uh, TropicalPlants.co.za, also based in Cape Town, but sells online. Um, okay, so there we go, another delicious monster. Pretty much the same price, so if you're in the market. That is a nice pink princess. In comparison to my oh, useless reverted one, Makes me really sad. That's really pretty. I'm not going to buy a plant that I already have though. That's stupid. And if I keep willing pink on the other one, it'll happen, right? That's how this works. These anthosomas are super cool. 199 bucks. Ooh, it's tempting. Let's see, what else are we working with here? Oh, oh no. <laughs> I have been wanting a balloanum for so long and full disclosure I literally went on this website about two weeks ago and I put that in my car and I sat with it in my car for about two hours and then decided that I couldn't justify it it's a really good price though and I love them oh Magnificum if anyone's in the market for Magnificum um yeah we'll see if that um Balloon is still there in maybe a few months when I can start making some sales again. Let's see what else have we got here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Nice Calathea Wojewiczkia. I can't say it. I can't say it. Oh, yes. Um, if you're wanting propagation stations as well, um, Mama's Plants. So I will put the link to her Instagram and Facebook pages in uh, the description box. Um, she makes her own propagation vessels and they're really, really nice. So. If you don't want to buy from Droga Plants, I would say buy from Mama's Plants. There's other places as well, like if you want terrariums, Anaeriums, also based in Cape Town. She makes beautiful terrariums. Um, I think she makes custom ones as well, so um, I will put a link. I need to write all of this down because I'm going to forget. Mama's and Anaerium. Anyway, um, yeah, they've got some pretty cool stuff. It's quite a lot. Um, do, 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 lots of clay Oh yeah, and they sell mixers as well. I don't know how big the bags are of the mixers, but if you can't or don't want to make your own mixers, then that's actually quite cool. Okay, that's tropical plants. Then the last three, um, hook on. Uh, I, has a website, but I, I went on there and it doesn't seem to have anything on at the moment. I know there was. They had leaf burn in the greenhouse at the end of last year, so I think everything got taken off and it's being slowly added back onto Instagram. So if you want to maybe look um, their Instagram page, that's possibly where you can shop now. So they've got like Sister Salmon Zonica, Thematophyllum Sprucianium. I know she said she's trying to split these to make them smaller plants so you can get a smaller plant for less, which I think is a really good idea. That's what I would have liked to have done um, with my one. Hominomenas, Nicelanthurium. 
Graftophora tetraspermas, Ashenanthus pagoda. Yeah, I think these are what's available now after the, the Great Leaf Burn. But Cape Town based company, fabulous. Um, then we have Best Fronds. So, Best Fronds also Cape Town based, but also ship. Um, they do drops once a month. And um, I don't know what's happening um, this coming month. They were supposed to be doing a stock drop on Saturday, but I think, I don't know if they're gonna wait off until um, this is all past. I don't know, we'll see. But go onto their Facebook page. This is the page, Best Fronds, um, and they do big drops once a month. So it's kind of like fastest finger first. They stock some really unusual plants that you can't really find anywhere else. So I think this is the stuff that's left over from their last drop. It's not much, the last drop was big and had some great stuff in it. But you basically just click on it and um, the drops are always at 4 p.m. See something you like, you click on it and you just say, mine. If you don't get in there quick enough, you don't get in there quick enough. <laughs> but they stock some really, really, really cool plants. I bought mm, not as much as I would have liked, but as much as my budget allows from them. And um, so I would, I would definitely advise looking at Best Friends. And then the last one is uh, SA Botanical Garden, I think based up in Polokwane. Um, so she's also just recently started and I think she sells on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, this is the Facebook page just because I feel like it might be easier to show you on a screen recording. Um, but she also does drops, so she numbers them like this. So every time there's a drop, you then just say, you comment and say which number plant that you're looking for. So like you say you want a number two and that means you get this begonia. Um, oh, these are nice little anthuriums. So yeah, you can kind of see, everyone has like similar stuff and then each one has kind of like a unique thing to them. So you kind of have to do a bit of shopping around, but that's kind of fun. Oh yes, and she also sells her own plant art, which is really cool. So if you're looking for something else, you can head there. I mean, I'm also gonna say that I do plant art as well. I'm not gonna, I have no shame at this point. I'm panicking. <laughs> But in a very different style with completely different artists, so depends on what you're looking for. Um, I think that's it for things to show you on the computer, so I'm going to cut off the computer and come back to full screen. Um, please let me know if I've missed any good, reputable places that maybe stock some more unusual plants. Um, you know I'm into the unusual plants. Um, yeah, these are the ones that I've used or have, know people use myself, personally. I know people who have used them, so can kind of um, say that they're okay. Uh, but I'm always looking for new people. I know a lot of growers don't have an online presence, so you kind of have to email them and get their list privately. Um, I do m most of my plant shopping like that, if I'm honest. Um, but I don't want to share their details just because I, I feel like they, they're not on social media for a reason. Um, and that's that's totally cool. That's totally cool. So I'm not going to go out there and be like, well, here are all the email addresses of these people because that's their prerogative to not put it out. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's my kind of um, online window shopping. <laughs> there are a couple of things there that I think I would like, but I'm really I'm trying to be good and I'm trying to hold out. I'm holding out for that melanocrysum. I'm holding on, and for Zizi, but mostly for the melanocrysum. One day, one day it'll happen, and I will. I will weep. You will watch me weep. <laughs> um, anyway, so I hope you're all staying safe in lockdown and finding things to do. Um, maybe, you know, use this opportunity if you've watched this all the way tr through. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel and get notifications so you don't have to keep on checking back, um, the subscribe button is that way. I think I got this wrong last time. I think it's that way. <laughs> or is it that way? I don't know. Um, but if you have any suggestions for things you'd like me to film during this lockdown, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm obviously still working at the same time, but I'm trying to put a lot of stuff out online to keep people entertained, um, you know, just to keep us all from losing our minds and from not focusing on the chaos that is around us. Anyway, thank you so much. Keep safe, be kind to everyone around you, and I will see you guys next time for another Planty video. Bye, guys.